Good evening, everybody. Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People. Today is uh, January 10th, 2022. And uh, as we're coming up upon midnight here, January 11th. And uh, I want to talk to you about Ariel Sharon, who died on January 11th, 2014, eight years ago tomorrow. Okay, Ariel Sharon died on January 11th, okay, 2014. But there's a number of very interesting details about the life of Ariel Sharon. First of all, I want to share with you the uh, report that had come out at the time of Ariel Sharon's death and even before uh, Ariel Sharon died. This famous rabbi, Rabbi Kaduri, said that the Messiah will appear after Sharon's death. Okay, so somehow the prophecy was that the appearing of the Messiah would be somehow connected to Ariel Sharon, and that the Messiah would come after Ariel Sharon's death. Okay, so we've got this very interesting detail here that Ariel Sharon died eight years ago. Okay, eight years ago tomorrow. Now, then we have this detail about uh, Ariel Sharon being connected to the coming of Messiah. Now, what is interesting about this number eight? Okay, now let's take a look at the uh, this this uh, detail about the death of Ariel Sharon because he died after. He was in coma for eight years. Okay, so we we have a very interesting connection here that he uh, was in a coma for eight years. His death was now eight years ago. But not only that. Okay, so here's this detail about his eight-year coma. Okay, now let's take a look at this detail, and we're going to see. I'm trying to get through this quick because I've got we've got guests in the house here, and they're making a lot of noise, <laughs> and so I'm trying to get through this. Um, I don't want to have a lot of background noise in the back. I can't really avoid it. I don't have a way to avoid it right now. Okay, so Aaron, Ariel Sharon suffered a stroke on January 4th, 2006. And he would remain in a permanent vegetative state until his death in January of 2014. Okay, eight years. But let's take a look at the days because I saw an article that really caught my attention when they said that his coma from January 4th, 2006 to January 11th, 2014. Okay, calculating the days, if we include the end date, including the day he died, eight years and eight days okay Ariel Sharon was in a coma for eight years and eight days tomorrow January 11th 2022 is eight years since he died and famous Radu, Ra, Rabbi Kaduri said that the Messiah will appear after and somehow connected to the death of Ariel Sharon. Okay, so within this story, we have three eights. We have eight years and eight days of him being in a coma, and then we have another eight years until now, bringing us to January 11, 2022. We've got 888. Is this the connection we have been waiting for to the coming of the Messiah as we've been? Uh, waiting for all of these signs, okay, that have been pointing to January 8th, January 9th. We've got all of this in talk about World War III now and possible uh, uptick in uh, rumors of wars and all of that 
and then we've got the bright morning star okay 2300 days ago today was uh, was the agenda 2030 Pope Francis at the United Nations September 25th 2015 same week as Obama and the Pope met, uh, the same week as the final blood moon of the Tetrad, and we, we are right here between January 8th and January 13th in a huge, huge watch time. And we've got this detail here about Ariel Sharon being connected to a prophecy about the coming of the Messiah, being connected to his death. He was in a coma for eight years and eight days. And tomorrow is the eight-year anniversary of his death. Now, one other detail here. On January 13, 2014, okay, Ariel Sharon was buried on January 13, 2014. Okay, on the day of his uh, funeral and at the time of his funeral at the exact time of his funeral okay a sister sent this to me this information to me in an, in an email and very interesting information that on the day of Ariel Sharon's funeral okay January 13th, 2014, two days after he died, there was an earthquake in Galilee. A 3.5 earthquake. Okay. See, 3.5, that's a number that marks the rapture of the church and the 3.5 years of great tribulation. It's another rapture sign right here, a 3.5 earthquake but it was not only any day it was on the day of Ariel Sharon's okay uh, funeral it was felt during his funeral okay and uh, this was January 13 2014 okay so I just wanted to share all of this information with you and I'm sure that this will bring a lot of memories back to people who are watching these signs eight years ago. Wow, we've been waiting for the return of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for a long time, haven't we? We've been waiting and waiting and waiting and now we have an eight-year sign. This could be a very significant sign pointing us to January 11th, 2022 eight years okay so I don't want to go over all of this again I just shared with you why it could be an eight-year sign because of his eight years and eight days in a coma the connection to Rabbi Kaduri and the earthquake that was felt in Israel on the day of his funeral okay all of these signs speaking to us about the coming of our Messiah Jesus Christ okay I just wanted to share this information with you. I pray you have a wonderful evening. I pray you're blessed. This is Steve Fletcher with the trumpet for my people. The sign of his coming revealed.